Hello. Hello, good can you hear me? Good evening. Hello, good evening. Mm -hmm. How are you? Hello, good evening. All right, good. Wow. Let's wait for more people to come. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Give me one second. Okay, welcome class. How was your day today? Good? Yeah, I'm good. 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 Yeah, yeah good. Thank you for good asking. Too. All right, nice. Good to know. Okay, let's start. Let's continue where we finished yesterday. Let me open the email. My my mouse is bad. Who is a computer engineer? Me. I have a question. But are you software or computer hardware? Software. Oh. My mouse is bad in this moment. It is. How can I fix it? Do you think it's the mouse is already is not good anymore? Maybe the driver installed in your computer is damaged. Oh, okay. Trying installing again. Oh, good, good idea. Thank you, I will try that. Because it's, it's, it's not functioning very good. How it should be. This is USB. Yes, the connector USB. is USB. Try disconnecting, connect back in. Okay, okay, I will try that. I'll try that in a moment. I'm just opening here. Mm -hmm. Next to the clock, you <clears throat> you can see the the warning saying you uh, the driver is installing or something like that. Mm, let me check. No, I don't see any notifications. No. Maybe the connector is damaged and unrecognizable. Okay. Oh man, hold on. I have to change my... But you know the bad thing is this, this happened right now. <laughs> Why now? Why not yesterday? Oh, well, okay. So let's start this. Pre inglés avanzado. Let's resume course. Let me share the screen with you. So remember, yesterday we were talking about time clauses, correct? Um, do you remember what is a clause? It's a group of words that contain a subject and verb. Exactly, it has a subject and a verb. 
So yeah, the group of words, and maybe it's a sentence. It has a subject and a verb. What is a time clause? It's when contains a time word. Yeah, okay, good. Yes, it's the same thing. It's the same explanation. It's a group of words that has a subject and a verb, and it's talking about a time. How it mentions a time word. Like, for example, before, when, after. Until. Until, yeah. Okay, so let's continue. We did this yesterday, remember? Yes. So I don't know how come it's not marked that we didn't. Okay, now we're going to do a listening exercise. Listen to three people describe important events in their life. Choose what was their turning point for each. So we're going to listen to Sally, Henry, Debbie. Two stories regarding Sally, Henry, and Debbie, okay? Let me open this. Okay, while you do this, I'm going to um, put myself in mute in the video because I'm going to install the mouse again, okay? I wanna see what's wrong with my mouse, okay? Yes. Thank you. Can you hear, did, did you hear the, 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 the audio? Not yet. No. Not yet. No? No. No. Can you try again? Yes. Please hold on. You have to share sound. Yes, I am, but in, I can't. Some... I, I understand, but I, I can't move the mouse. That's why. Important events in their lives. Complete the page 74. Can you hear now? Yeah. Exercise yeah. Yes. four. Yeah. Listening. Okay. Important events. Part A. Listen to three people describe important events in their lives. Complete the chart. One, Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. Two, Henry. I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. Three, Debbie. I guess I was always pretty shy in school, and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. 
You know, I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. Page 74. Exercise 4. Part B. Listen again. What do these three people have in common? 1. Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. Two, Henry. I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. 3. Debbie I guess I was always pretty shy in school, and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know, I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. All right, good. So, who was Sally? She learned Spanish. She learned Spanish. What about Henry? He and his brother, he and his went, brother to went to the same college. And Debbie? She was a class. All right, now let's listen to instructions, listen to the audio program again, and choose how it affected him or her. Give me one second. Page 74. Can you hear? Exercise 4. Yes. Listening. Important events. Part A. Listen to three people describe important events in their lives. Complete the chart. 1. Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language. Yet, I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. Two, Henry. I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. 
Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. 3. Debbie I guess I was always pretty shy in school, and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know, I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. Page 74. Exercise 4. Part B. Listen again. What do these three people have in common? 1. Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. 2. Henry I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. 3. Debbie I guess I was always pretty shy in school, and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know? I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. Okay, how did this change, Sally? Fit pro. Fit pro. Fit pro. No, but this is listen to the audio and choose how it affected him or her. Became more confident and independent. Okay. But remember at the very she end, she said... She proud of her. Okay. She felt proud of her. Okay. In my opinion, for me, it was she became more outgoing. But, okay. Henry, how did this affect Henry? Became more became confident. Became more confident. Became more confident. All right, and how did this affect Debbie? Became, became, became more ongoing. Okay, good. It was good, but the thing is, like, look, it says listen to the audio and choose how it affected. So remember, Sally, she said, I didn't know I was going to be the best student. I didn't know, and wow, and then everybody respected me. So the effect is I became more outgoing. In my opinion, he hasta lo dice. I became a lot more outgoing. But yes, it's correct. 
pero si alguien puso became more confident, the three are correct, actually. The three are correct. Do you understand what is outgoing? Um, is the opposite of being shy? Yeah. Or... Yeah, outgoing is a person that that person is not quiet. That person could go into a room with total strangers and that person will talk, will start a conversation. It's a very outgoing. It's a synonym of talk to you. Yes. That person would go on the Montaña Rusa. That person would try surfing, whatever, anything. It's very outgoing. Okay, next it says, this again. We did this, remember? Yes, we did it. Why is it appearing again? I don't know, this is crazy. Okay, now in this class, participants will learn adjectives of behavior and personality. What is behavior? Uh, it's like a wild person. I don't know the compare. Hi, la conducta. <laughs> yes, it's true. You know, today in the morning, I saw an accident by, by the ex Mundo Feliz. Do you remember? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. But the strange part about this accident is that um, they were arresting a woman. It, it, was, a, it was a Nissan Rogue, those, those beautiful cars. That Nissan hit a small car. But when we were passing by, the strange thing was that they were arresting a woman and she was naked. <laughs> she was... Is she is crazy. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no way. Okay, listen. She wasn't like really naked. She was um, a hilo. <laughs> excuse. I'm sorry. Excuse me. But I don't... Era verdad. It's a naked. Huh? It's a naked. No, but it was very strange because she was wearing a shirt and no pants. And I tell my wife, is she naked? <laughs> or, or maybe it was those leggings. I, I, I imagine it was leggings, you know? And no, when they pick her up and put her on the pickup, she was naked. And <laughs> I, was, I was watching Facebook all day today because I wanted to see what happened in the news because everybody was recording. Maybe <laughs> she Maybe she lost the... The dress? Yes, from the impact. Uh -huh. No, I think she was drunk or... Yeah, drunk. It's possible. Or, or on drugs or something, but... Mm -hmm. And she was okay. I mean, she was like... I mean, she, she didn't look... She looked... She looked like she had money. And um, she was okay. Like, uh, you know, she wasn't covering herself or anything. <laughs> yeah, she was... It was a very, very strange... She doesn't and, care. Yeah, maybe she was under the effect of alcohol or drugs. And and I tell my wife, I don't understand the police. Tambien. They they don't give her something to cover her, you know. You are still in shock. <laughs> no, can you imagine? Can you imagine the jail cuando la llevaron? <laughs> the people there, like, what the hell? <laughs> Because um, to be honest, she wasn't that ugly, <laughs> the, the girl. But I still, I don't know what happened. But it's more possible drunk. 
She was um, drunk, definitely. But why was yeah, she naked? I don't know. The police, uh, 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 they can't detect the tent, right? For 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 only for a crash. Yes. Yes. Um. Yeah. Definitely. Well, something. Yeah. Definitely. She was drunk or drugs or something. But why was she naked? I don't know. Hmm. That that's my big question. Why was she driving like that? Was she with somebody and that somebody escape? Or, but it was a good show in the morning. <laughs> I was I was waiting for um, Facebook, you know, like Mara Metida, like Ultima Hora. Agarran a mujer en ropa interior and Boulevard de los Procedes or something, nothing. Héroes, Boulevard de los Héroes. So, Y le digo eso porque behavior and personality. The behavior on that woman today was totally normal. She was okay. Like, okay. You know, she was not resisting arrest, nothing. She was okay. So maybe that's why she was in, in drugs. Let's look at the video and talk about personalities. Okay, so here's the video. We're about to study some adjectives which will help you talk about behavior and personality. Ambitious, argumentative, carefree, conscientious, naive, pragmatic, rebellious, sensible, sophisticated. Okay. Can you tell us how you behave? Here, the objective here is not those adjectives. The objective here is to describe somebody with describe somebody with adjectives. Can you tell us how you behaved in your teens? Sensible, sophisticated. For example, Mirna Sanabria. Can you maybe you can neutro right can you describe the president <laughs> well i don't know um, he is i think that is he's uh, tall all right um i don't remember how to say barba beard Beard, uh, okay, he has beard. But remember, beard, no, I'm sorry. That is fake. I, I, I'm sorry, but describe with adjectives. I'm sorry, my fault. Oh. Descri well, okay, beard is not an adjective, so. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, okay, he's tall. He's tall. And, and he's very, um, <laughs> um, like ambitions, I don't know. Yeah, ambitious. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I, I think I think the president is very smart. Yeah. Because, I mean, it's for good or bad, but he's very smart. He he because I I see when when they talk to him, he is always ready for the for the question. For answer. For an, yeah, he's ready for the question. He has an answer, and sometimes I. I see him and he starts making the numbers in his head. <laughs> see, yeah. yeah, watch him, watch him. He says, okay, yeah, this and that, that's 96. So that's what 3.4% of the people, blah, 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 in Piesa. And he starts making like, oh, wow, that, that's, that's, but that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying he's, he's a smart good or he's smart bad. I'm, I'm only saying he's a smart person. Okay. And he has, he has a good team around, good assessors. Probably. Yeah, he, he's prepared. Yes, correct. Yeah, he's prepared. And, uh, and that is very... smart. That is smart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. David Hernandez, are you married? <laughs> I'm sorry? Single. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes. Describe your girlfriend with two adjectives. 
One good and one bad. Uh, <laughs> but please don't say she's toxic. Uh, yes, it no. means. <laughs> no. Um, she's a beautiful woman and good. and uh, something. Uh, she's a little uh, distraída. Distractive. Destructive. 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 All right, good. Menos de un año than that, right? Uh, no. I run two. Two? Oh, okay, very good. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you said she's a beautiful woman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's four or five months. It, it's an example. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't know, man, but really, I think this is ridiculous. Have you seen those people when they walk in the mall, like you go to Galerias or Metro Center or something, and they hold hands and they walk? I tell my wife, the puesto, that's, don't mess with them. And, that. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes you see them in the supermarket. And so really, you hold hands and you hug in the supermarket? Y lo doy empujando la carretilla. Like, oh, please. Yes, it's common when, when the relationship is beginning. No, I understand. But you imagine, like, what do you want, chicken? And you? No, and you? And you? Do you like it? No, do you like it? No, if you like it, yes. If not, ah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I mean, no, no, that that's maybe, I think in Spanish, the most cursi. Uh-huh. Yes. In English, the adjective would be corny. Cor corny. Corny. Corny with a C. And sugar can be? Sugar? Yes. Corny. No, sugar is sweet. Sweet. Yeah. Orlando Morales. Tell me. Hello, man. Describe... <laughs> This is an easy one. Describe such a seren. <laughs> um, maybe behind him, ambitions. Um, and sometimes uh, I think the Navy. Okay, but describe him. What do you think he is? Sorry? No, but describe him, him. Okay. Do you think he's a smart person? Uh, I think about the he he's no he's not um, a smart person. Oh, definitely he's not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I am sorry, but he is stupid. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he is funny he too. A, a, a team for the for 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 take the, the decisions, right? Yeah. He yes, he right. only speak, speak yeah. but uh, he no, no, he no, he not a, a smart, smart man or smart no. government. Yeah, he's funny though, he's funny. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> Remember when he That's was funny people, space. when he went to speak with people in the wheelchair? Estaban en silla de ruedas. Wake up and clap. And he says, yes, please stand up and clap. <laughs> oh, man. No, don't forget the kilowatt the... of water. 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 <laughs> yes. Another example is, estoy feliz de estar contento. Yes. Oh, man, I miss him. He was funny. Yes. It was interesting having him. The memes were so funny, man. The other characteristic is he's always sleeping oh yes did you see that meme when he goes to um subway no and they ask no. him que tipo de pan quiere eh, francés <laughs> 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 yeah hmm. man. he was fun all right cool jenny oh, me <laughs> how are you jenny how is your covid i feel good all right. Good I feel better. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. And you have one more week, correct? 
Yes, one what more the, week. Okay, this week is vacation for you. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy. Maybe. I think I think the Friday I get other tests for estar más tranquila. No, no, man. Stay one more week. Really, I promise you. You're okay. married. You have two children. You will never have two weeks for you in your life again. Okay. Never. Enjoy. Okay. Después va a estar, oh, man, me hubiera quedado la otra semana. <laughs> right now, enjoy. Well, Jenny, describe your husband with one mm -hmm. good and one bad adjective. But please, yeah. don't say bad like something really, really bad. Okay. <laughs> it's bad something like, like yeah. what David Hernandez says. She's uh, distracted. My husband is very responsible mm -hmm. and is smart, but is controlador. No sé cómo se dice. He's very it controlling. Is controlling. Okay. The, all. And everything. All the thing. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Sometimes that's good. Yeah, but it's very control. The weather, the feel, the family is is, is very extremely. Oh, extremely. Okay. Extremely zeros. <laughs> no, controlling. Control. It's like a perfection. I am carefree. I am carefree, but oh, okay. is that opuestos por los opuestos? Yeah, that's true. Me, my wife and I are, are totally different. Mm -hmm. I, I, I talk with all my neighbors. Hey, neighbor. Hey, neighbor. My wife, she's like the, my wife is the typical neighbor that, that brava, creída <laughs> or, or something. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, por los opuestos is true. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, Jenny, do you know what is the difference when you say very, he's very, oh, I'm sorry, very controlling or he is too controlling? Do you understand the difference when you say very and two? Mm, yeah. No sé decirlo en inglés, pero I try. Cuando right, alguien right. es muy controlador de tener todo eso y se sale de las manos, se frustra. Y eso no es bueno. Okay, so that's very or too controlling. Very. Okay. No, actually, when you say two, Mm -hmm. it's a problem mm -hmm. when you say very it's a lot it's a lot okay but when you say two mm -hmm. indicates there is a problem okay let me give an example my wife mm -hmm. and this is this is only an example my wife is very jealous <laughs> you both say man she's very jealous mm -hmm. or i can say she's too jealous Demasiado. O sea, when I say she's too jealous, a un punto que ya, it, it, it causes a problem. Okay. It's, like good. it's toxic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's toxic. An example, right? Like in, in your case, you said your husband is very controlling, but you said, no, he is very, very controlling. Okay? <laughs> so you can say maybe in your case, no, he's too controlling. O sea, too, ya demasiado. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, mm. for example, what do you prefer? To have a lot of money or too much money? A lot of money. A lot of money. Yeah. If you have too much money, you have problems. Why? Why? <laughs> Okay, let me give you an example like uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, let's say. He has a lot of money. Yes? But it's that Bill Gates. The problem with Bill Gates, he has too much money. He does not have a life. Because Leonardo DiCaprio, you see him in the street buying ice cream or walking. You will never see Bill Gates. He he will always have one hundred people around him. 
Ahora, too much money, o sea, porque es good, pero sometimes even a lot of money is a problem. Yeah. ¿Saben quién tuvo too much money? Pablo Escobar. Ah, ok. Aquí está un perfecto ejemplo. Pablo Escobar, he had too much money. He didn't know where to put it. Ya no sabía dónde meterla. Le empezó a quemar. Imagine. That's the difference. Um... Do you think one one dollar for a pupusa is very expensive or too expensive? Expensive. It's very expensive. It's very, yeah. Okay, but imagine you go to a pupuseria in Olocuilta. Excuse me, how much are the pupusas? Ah, uh, yeah, uh, 250. <laughs> 250, oh man, that's too expensive. O sea, son tan caras que ni las compro, like no. That's the difference. Es igual español. Están bien caras. No, están demasiadas caras. Y cuando no dice demasiada, es a problem. ¿Cuál es el problem? Yo no las compro. Ok, do you understand? Yes. Let me give an example. Right now, gasoline is very expensive. But imagine someday gasoline, the, the gallon is $10. I also said too expensive, oh, too, too expensive, expensive that people will take the public transportation. Yeah, or bicycles. Or bicycle, and you say, why? Because gasoline is too expensive. In this moment, it's very expensive. But I won't, I won't say buy, right? But imagine if, if the gallon goes to $10, People say, no, man. Or everybody in El Salvador will be on a motorcycle, bicycle, or a bus. But no more cars. People say, why? Because the gasoline is too expensive in this moment. Okay. All right. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Um, Noria. Hi, Noria. Hi, teacher. Hi, um, Noria. Where do you live? Santa Tecla, no? No. I'm from Sonsonate. Oh, from Sonsonate. Yeah. Can you describe? Two things about, give me two adjectives about Sonsonate. One good and one bad. Um, Sonsonate is very hot. Very um, hot. Very hot. Oh, no. The weather, the weather, the clima. Yeah. The weather? The weather. Uh, of Sonsonate is very hot. Okay. Every day. And uh, something good of Sonsonate is um um. Uh, it's very touristical, no? The, yeah, it's very, it's very touristic. And this different place. Yes, because um, you have beaches, you have um, beach, um, the ruinas, montaña, montaña, mountains, mountains, a beach, and it's very funny. All right, good, good for you. And a Tunco Beach, right? <laughs> Tunco Beach, no. <laughs> and the Cameron. The Cameron. Beach, the Cameron, Calimita. It's very nice. All right, nice. Good for you. Thank you. Rafael Mayen, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Um, 
Do you like soccer, Rafael? Yes, I like. I like it. Who, who is your favorite Spanish team? Uh, Barcelona. Okay, good. Can you explain to me what is Barcelona's problem in this moment? Well, I I think the with the adjectives. Main, oh, okay, uh, I think they are in a, a difficult uh, financial situation. Uh, they don't have a a player uh, as as ta as talented as as Messi. Yeah. I think the 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 exit of of, of Messi is, is one of the main problem. And you know, also, you know, I, I I'm sorry, excuse me. I was reading. Yes. Okay, yeah, because I, I think I think Barcelona's problem is that the administration is terrible. It's correct. It's it's horrible administration and the effect that Messi had not only in Barcelona, in Spain. Because I was I was reading about the um, the domino effect. So many people want to go to Barcelona to watch <laughs> Messi, and when they're in Barcelona, I watch Messi. Hey, ya que estoy en España, voy a pasear. And Ronaldo, Ronaldo. <laughs> uh, yeah, in the yeah. other, the other. Uh -huh. And now that I am in in Barcelona, para el partido, I'm going to see Catalunya and Spain so you invest because you're a tourist and that's what they were talking about and now that Messi is not there not only in the in soccer in the in the show you're very right in your in your point <laughs> yes and everything imagine Nike Adidas was like Adidas they don't care about Barcelona they wanted Messi to use them so they 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 contracted the complete but yes, um, Barcelona has terrible administration and, yes, and, and unnecessary players. You're right, too. The stupid yes. Dembele, man. We, we have to go to the basic, I think. Yeah. Dembele se lesiona haciendo sopa maruchan. <laughs> it was like, ah, oh, oh, my hand. Eight months. Yeah. Sorry, in fact, uh, Dembélé uh, have uh, two hours uh, for the bye bye uh, from Barcelona. Oh, it's 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 a it's a fact actually. He's yes. out. Yes. Today he's out. Sí. Yes, they oh, have two hours God. for the for the uh, Barcelona take the con the the next con contract or or a strike, right? Oh, out. Okay. Yeah. Fuera, man. Everybody, Dembele. Uh, if you remember, uh, Dembele always uh, after the 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 he he have a a a, le, a, a lesion after after take a new contract. Yes. <laughs> it's very very. So we injured the, the whole the whole yeah, the whole championship. It's, it's very strange. Yes, the tournament. Strange. Yes, strange, right? Yeah. All right, let's see now. Malin, are you there, Malin? Yes, sorry. It's all right. Hello, Malin. I'm fine. Where are you? Are I you in your house? Yes. Man, you have a very nice chair. Uh, this is the... Uh... I don't, I forget the number. Madera? Wood. Wood. That's like an executive chair. Really? Well, I mean, it looks very comfortable. I mean, definitely it's a chair for, <laughs> for desk. <laughs> okay, so uh, Maylin, can you describe this past Christmas in your family with an adjective? Um. The last Christmas with my family was comfortable. It was comfortable. Yes, and I happy. Okay, was happy. Okay. Um, 
I stay with my family is the better. And I'm sorry. I stay with my family is the better because it's the best. Yeah. Is <laughs> and I think only that. I have a question for everybody in general. Is it me? Or is the Christmas tradition changing in El Salvador? Because I see now that people don't really like to cook anymore. They buy. Yeah, or, or in my case, I cooking. No, the okay. old day. oh, that's good. Yeah, but no, but I'm talking about in general because I remember I visited a lot of my family. In fact, my family, we we just bought two gallinas and everything came prepared, you know, like boom, and we ate. Oh, families go to uh, to yeah. another place. Yes. Like beach, mm -hmm. mom. Yes, because I remember before that the one beautiful tradition about Christmas is the cooking part. Everybody cooked. I know. think the people uh, can cook it because working. Yes. Oh, because it's more easy to pay for. It's easier to pay, yes. <laughs> it's more easy to mm, pay. Yeah, but I've noticed that, for example, in our case, we didn't cook the 24th and the 31st. My cousins, my neighbors, my father, my mother, no, nobody cooks. My friends, you know, everybody. But I remember when I was a little kid, the tradition was that all the mothers cooked. La salsa secreta, la, 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 this and that. It, it was like a Christmas tradition. Because the different is right now a uh, different place and you can buy. And I think maybe it's uh, for culinary school. Yes, maybe, maybe, maybe that too. Yeah. Okay, cool. So those are adjectives, okay? Adjectives, remember, that you, you describe something. Adjectives can be affirmative, they can be positive, they can be negative. Example, uh, let me see. Mirna, since you're the baby. Yeah, but. What kind of boys don't you like? Um, but using an adjective. Okay. Like boys that are. I don't like boys. That, I don't like boys that, that aren't like. They they don't have um, ambitions. Okay, good. I, I don't like boys. I don't know that how to use the adjective. Do, do you like reggaetoneros? No. <laughs> That's an adjective. I mean, right? I like reggaeton, but I don't like, I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, I don't understand that. I'm very old now, I think, but I, I don't understand that. Um, I have a neighbor. She has a daughter and the daughter is very strange because I know the daughter since she was little. Yeah. And now she's a young lady and she's very, very pretty. And I said, wow, she's a very pretty. And she's very, very sweet. And she has her boyfriend. Oh, man. He comes He comes in the car with like that reggaeton bad bunny mm. with his hat like this, you know. Man, I feel sometimes like opening the door and punching him. Pero I'm like, Girls, what, what what do you ridiculous. like about those boys? Yeah, I don't know. I don't like that. You know, and, and but you know, the, the boy, he's very nice. I mean, when I, he, when I, when I like alone, he did this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I tell my wife, if my son ever dresses like that, I'm going to kick him. No, no. So, so you don't like boys who have no ambition, who are not yeah. ambitious. Ambitious yeah. is the adjective. Mm -hmm. But remember, in this case, you don't like boys that are not ambitious. Mm -hmm. So that means you like boys that are ambitious. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Okay, good. Uh, let me see who has not participated today. Tatiana, are you there? Hello. Hi, Tatiana. Hi. What kind of people do you hate? En ese sentido, hate no es odiar, o sea, when I say what kind of people do you hate, es que le caigan mal. What kind of people do you hate? Example, uh, I hate fanatics, religious fanatics of religion. People who are fanatical in religion, I hate. But I'm, I'm saying fanatic that, you know, those people that they have convulsions. Dance. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Dance. Yeah, they I dance. I don't know if you, if you, if you uh, watching the, the different videos. Uh, oh, Metallica. The different, the different song. <laughs> yes, it's funny. Yeah, correct. Yeah. No, but I, I don't like those people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's... It's extreme, it's too much. What about you, Tatiana? What kind, what kind of people don't you like? Um, the people heavy? I don't know. You don't like fat people? Uh, fat, no. <laughs> heavy, pero no. Pesado, you? pero no en, en tama. <laughs> Oh, be careful, Tatiana. Creo que en esa clase que estábamos hablando, ¿verdad? De que pesado realmente, si usted va a España, ¿y usted bien pesado? ¿Qué van a entender ellos? They are fat. I am fat. Pero usted quiere decir, usted es pesado, que usted es bien repugnante o, o mal educado, right? Entonces, eso es un caliche, y el caliche es algo autóctono. Es propio de la cultura nuestra. Entonces, significa que eso no existe en otro, eh, mucho menos en otro idioma. Yes. Es como, por ejemplo, eh, decir pendejo. Pendejo en, en Argentina creo que es como decir mono. Como nosotros decimos aquí a los niños, mono, vení. Hey, mono, vení. Y, y está mal dicho, pues, porque no vamos a decir, hey, monkey, come here. <laughs> en inglés, so, se van a super ofender. Like, Don't call my son a monkey. <laughs> Entonces, son, son palabras, el caliche, siempre lo recuerden que cuando es caliche es algo autóctono, es propio del idioma suyo y de la cultura suya. Entonces, Es bastante, bastante probable que no va a existir en, en otro país. Una vez alguien me estaba diciendo, yo no le quería entender, no lo entendía, pero después llegué a la conclusión que me decía, he is elbow. Y que me decía que él era codo. Y me quedaba, no, en inglés, no, no. Yeah. Bueno, so. In this case, Tatiana, you don't like people who are not educated. Okay, or offensive. Or offensive, very good, very good. Very good. What about you, um, David Hernandez? What kind of people do you like? Um, I like the people who are a uh, friendly. Good. I like outgoing people too. I like friendly people, outgoing people. I like strange people. Really? Yes. Yeah, I don't know why. I like strange people. Mm. Sonia yes. Perez, hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm good, and you? I'm okay. I'm very good too. 
Can you describe El Salvador with one good adjective and one bad adjective? One bad adjective. One bad, one good. The extension is very small. Okay, so El Salvador is very small. Yes. Is that good or bad? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> give me the next adjective. The next adjective will depend if small is good or bad. <laughs> okay. Um, No? Okay. El no. Salvador is very small. El Salvador is a happy country. El Salvador is a tropical country. Some people say El Salvador is very dangerous. Teacher, how can I say montañoso? Mount, <laughs> mountainous? Hill. No, pero aquí no es montañoso. <laughs> Tiene muchas montañas. Mm. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, not Has even... mountains. Oh, okay. It's about as tropical, it's about as small, it's about as big, it's about as hot. It's yes. beautiful. Country. It's about as beautiful, it's a beautiful country. Yes. yes. Some stupid people exaggerate and say, oh no, El Salvador yeah. is extremely dangerous. The most yeah. dangerous country in the world. Y no sé qué. Mm -hmm. We have beaches, beautiful beaches. Yeah, I tell, mm. I tell my friends, man, in El Salvador, you can have breakfast in the mountain, lunch in the beach, and dinner in the city in one day. What, what other country can you do that? You can go to the mountains for breakfast and then go down, go to the beach for lunch, and come here to a beautiful restaurant in the city for dinner. Yeah, so it's it's a very yes. it's about it is very attractive. We probe. <laughs> yes. Okay, class, then tomorrow we'll continue, okay? Yes. Um, okay. But if we if we tomorrow is the last day, if we finish everything tomorrow, we're going to do activities. We're going to do music comprehension, okay? Okay. Okay. We're okay. going to do okay. some cool songs, okay? So thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night.